we're learning new details about a driver's actions leading up to a crash involving two Austin ISD school buses carrying dozens of band students. In court documents, 23-year-old Fallon Ramos admits to drinking alcohol earlier in the day before Thursday night's crash. CBS Austin's Abigail Velez is live tonight at McCallum High School after reviewing those documents tonight. Abigail, what else are we learning? Well, Walt, Fallon's injuries didn't allow her to perform a field sobriety test, like walking in a straight line or balancing on one foot. But officers were able to check her eyes for any unusual movements, and that's when they noticed that her eyes were bloodshot and she had the heavy smell of alcohol, leading officers to arrest her for DWI. I spoke to one student who was injured in this crash who tells me she's just glad that Fallon and her bandmates are all okay. I remember immediately everybody screamed because it was like terrifying. McCallum versus Anderson is one of the most exciting football games of the year for McCallum High School senior Sadie Swinney. Basically the whole student population um, comes out to watch. But the night took a turn for the worst last Thursday after a suspected drunk driver hit two McCallum school buses after the game. Both were carrying band members and Sadie is one of them. I could see the car coming and suddenly it had hit the bus. Austin police investigators say 23 year old Fallon Ramos was behind the wheel. According to court documents, she was driving at high rates of speed and veered into one school bus, hitting it on the side. Then she hit another bus head on. I hit my face against the seat and my nose started bleeding. Court documents show Fallon wasn't able to perform a field sobriety test because of her injuries. The documents also note she admits to drinking a Mexican martini around noon and taking one sip of a margarita while at work. Crash investigator Lee Jackson says something isn't adding up. I, I don't see how that's possible to have a sip of a margarita and 11 hours to be impaired. Fallon is facing a misdemeanor DWI charge after investigators say she showed signs of intoxication like slurred speech, the odor of alcohol, bloodshot eyes and disorientation. The reason a misdemeanor as opposed to a felony charge was brought was because there was no serious bodily injury that we know of at least at this time. Students suffered only minor injuries in the crash and former prosecutor Quentin Brogdon says as unfortunate as the crash was, additional charges may be off the table. And according to the court records, there were no previous DWR. It appears that this is only being viewed as a misdemeanor and that appears to be true because there's no appearance at least of serious bodily Injury. Sadie says the experience was a nightmare, but for now, she's grateful for her community. We're just a really resilient band as a whole. Mm -hmm. Now, court documents show investigators did draw Fallon's blood, but as of now, those results are not yet available. Reporting live at McCallum High School, Abigail Velez, CBS Austin News.